Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because you guys seem to love my home screen setup so much, I thought why not share my top tips for how you can create your own perfect home screens, as well as give you guys a couple pointers so you too can customize like a pro. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now the core to the perfect home screen starts with the launcher. But saying that, I wouldn't say that it makes or breaks your home screen setup, but it definitely determines the behavior of your phone and the way you interact with it, allowing you to flip through multiple screens like a stack of cards, managing your apps in a list format, or even morph your icons into different shapes. Because of this, even before we start to look at customizing our icons, wallpapers, or even theme color, we need to first think about what is the best launcher for us. Otherwise, even though your home screen still end up looking amazing, when it comes down to using it, you might find it a bit bland and not to your taste. So make sure you take your time and have a good look around for the right launcher for you. My top recommendations would be Niagara if you want something clean and simple, Wine Launcher for those of you who love to have multiple home screen pages, and of course, my favorite, Nova. And for those of you who want to see exactly what's possible with each one, I'm going to leave links for my overview guides in the video description below. Next up, my favorite part of the home screen setup, the wallpapers. Now as you can tell by looking at my setups, I love to keep the wallpapers as the centerpiece of my home screens. Because of this, it's always the first thing I set before I even think about customizing anything else. And for those of you struggling to find the perfect backdrop, whether it be anime, gaming or cars, I highly recommend you check out Pinterest, where you can find some awesome hidden gems. And for those of you who want to take your still images even further, why not make your own live wallpaper? I'm going to leave the tutorial for which in the top right corner for you guys to check out. Now that we have that out of the way, on to the trickiest part of the home screen, the icon packs. Now over the years, the Play Store has accumulated quite a few different icon packs and thus giving you a wide variety to try out to see what fits with your home screens. On the other hand, this does mean that you can't just search for icon packs and expect to find exactly what you're looking for. Instead, you're going to have to be a bit more specific. Personally, I always try and match the colors of my icons to that of my background. So if it has green elements, when I'm searching for icons, I specifically use the word green or even emerald so the results can be a bit more narrowed to exactly what I want. And as a final note on home screen icons, where possible, also try playing around with their size. You'll be surprised at how decluttered your home screen will look by simply decreasing your icon sizes. Now if you're looking to add some extra flair or even increase functionality, home screen widgets have you covered. And of course, my number one recommendation for this would be KWGT widgets, always helping to take our home screens to the next level. But saying that, just like the app icons, there's a ton of widget apps out there. So make sure you take your time and have a good look around the Play Store. Now my number one rule when setting up home screen widgets, if it doesn't have a use and you're never going to use it, then it's not worth having. Just keep in mind that if the focus of your home screen is the wallpaper, then everything else should aim to complement it. But saying that, the opposite is also true. If you want your icons and widgets at the forefront, then make sure that the wallpaper you use isn't fighting for your attention. Now the final piece of the puzzle isn't a home screen tweak itself, but it'll definitely help you keep that clean aesthetic look. An app sidebar. These days, there's a ton of must-have apps, including Netflix, YouTube, and much, much more. And personally, I hate to keep all of those loose icons cluttering up my home screen. This is why I love using a sidebar to be able to quickly access my extended list of favorite apps, all without actually keeping them on my home screen. Now, if you're a Samsung user, you'll have access to a built-in side panel available through the settings option. However, if you're not, make sure to check out this list of highly rated alternatives. 
If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.